All right, we are about to explore one of the most mind-bending concepts out there. We're talking about a shape that technically can't even exist in our three-dimensional world. But here's the crazy part, we can still see its shadow. Yeah, just let that sink in for a moment. You know, we live our entire lives in three dimensions, length, width, height. But what if I told you that we could actually get a little peek, a glimpse into the fourth dimension? Well, guess what? That is exactly what we're about to do. Okay, so this, this strange, constantly shifting object you're looking at, this is called a tesseract. And believe me, to really wrap our heads around what it is, we first need to take a step back and talk about something way more familiar to all of us. Let's talk about shadows. See, here's the trick. To understand the fourth dimension, you might think we need to look up into the unknown. But actually, the secret is to look down. We're going to start by looking at the simple shadows that objects cast, dropping from one dimension into a lower one. Okay, let's just quickly build up the reality we all know, right? So we start with a simple point. It has zero dimensions. Now, you move that point and boom, you've got a one-dimensional line. Move that line and you get a two-dimensional square. And finally, you move that square and you've got yourself our good old three-dimensional cube. See the pattern? Each step, we're just adding a new dimension. And here's the rule that makes this whole thing click. It's super simple. A 3D object, like our cube, casts a flat 2D shadow, right? The shadow always has one less dimension than the object that's casting it. This is the key. You gotta remember that rule. All right, you with me? So let's take that simple rule that a shadow is always one dimension down. And now let's do something wild with it. Let's apply it to something we can't actually see, an object from the fourth dimension. So what is a tesseract anyway? Well, to put it simply, it's the four-dimensional version of a cube. Some people call it a hypercube. Remember how we got a cube by moving a square? Well, a tesseract is what you'd get if you could take a whole cube and move it through a fourth physical dimension. But, and this is a big but, here's the catch. Our brains, our eyes, our entire reality is built for only three dimensions. We literally do not have the ability to perceive a four-dimensional object in its true form. It's just not possible for us. So how in the world do we see the unseeable? Well, we use our rule. Just like a 3D cube casts a 2D shadow, a 4D tesseract has to cast a 3D shadow. And that's it. That's the big reveal. That strange warping shape you're seeing, that's not the tesseract itself. It's the three-dimensional shadow that a tesseract casts into our world. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Fine, it's a shadow, but why does it look so weird? Why is it constantly folding in on itself and turning inside out? That, my friends, is maybe the coolest part of this whole thing. So no, it's not glitching, it's not a bad animation. This constant, kind of bizarre movement is exactly what happens when a higher dimensional object moves through a lower dimension. Think about it, our 3D space just can't contain the full 4D shape all at once. So as the real tesseract moves or rotates up in the fourth dimension, its 3D shadow down here in our world has to constantly warp and stretch and reconfigure itself just to keep up. And you know, to really get why this is so hard for us to picture, we just have to look at our own built-in limitations. Your eyes, they don't actually see in 3D. I know, it sounds weird, but they just see two flat 2D images. It's your amazing brain that does all the heavy lifting, taking those two flat pictures and stitching them together to create the 3D world you experience every single day. The thing is, our brains are hardwired for three dimensions, and that's it. That's the limit of our natural perception. So to even begin to understand anything beyond 3D, we can't rely on our senses anymore. We have to turn to different tools, like the abstract languages of math and geometry, and of course, by studying these really strange projections, these 3D shadows. Okay, let's bring this all home now, because there's one final really crucial point about what it is we're actually looking at here. This is so, so important to remember. After all of this work, after finally wrapping our heads around this complex, warping shape, we have to accept a humbling truth. It's still just a shadow. It's a pale imitation of a much richer, way more complex reality that we can't directly see. And if you wanna know the really crazy part, here it is. What you're seeing, all this complexity, it's less than 1% of the full tesseract. The true 4D object is so much more complex than its shadow could ever, ever show us. We are literally just seeing the tiniest, barest sliver of it. And that, 
Well, that leads us to a final, really big thought. The Tesseract is a great model, right? It shows us how a 4D object can cast a shadow into our 3D world. But what if our entire 3D universe is, itself, just a shadow? What if it's just a projection from some even higher, more complex reality? It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? What are we not seeing?